Hey, so when the Mark of the Past was looking for information about this class online, there wasn't that many things. So the future Mark now is going to make a video. So in week one of the class, my drawings look like this. Yeah. What the? <laughs> What's going on here, buddy? These are what my drawings were like by the end of class. Yeah, there's a lot more construction. And I uh, started drawing in blue. <laughs> Dub! Oh, this was not at the class, but hey, look, here's a drawing I did. And, uh, hey, look, here's some more drawings. So I did a Sunday class that went from 9.30 to 1. The way the class works is that at 9.30, there's a live model that you can draw from in the center of a room. And then you sit on these wooden chairs and uh, your board goes over like this and you just kind of hunch over, look at the model and then draw. So the way it works is that you draw for 30 minutes then after that, there'll be like a small five minute coffee break. Um, Kevin would go over the week's lecture or look at some of the homework. Um, then after that, everyone gets back to drawing using information from that lecture or just practicing the mannequin, which we'll talk about later. Um, after another session, Kevin might give more instruction in the form of lecture, or he might talk about some of the books he brought in. Every week he brings in like five to 10 books and talks about all the artists that influences him. I really like this part. It's, it's really nice to see the varying approaches to drawing figures and just doing art in general. So in general, each information block is spaced out between time in which you draw the figure. And that kind of works well because you get the information and then you put it down. So the way you're taught to draw in the class is kind of interesting. Um, I, I know this is a bad angle. I'm so sorry, my travel setup isn't super great. So Kevin's mannequin is pretty interesting. You um, you start every single drawing with a perfect circle. And uh, let's say we're going to do a side view, so you put a dot in the middle of the circle, um, you go half a radius out, after doing half a radius out, you decide which way the head is tilting, let's say it's tilting this way, um, let's say this is half a radius, then you draw the back of the skull, after that you go half a radius down, pop, yeah that looks about right, and then you connect up the drawings, then to find this, then to find the start of the clavicle, it's one head down. So you put your hands like that, and you make a little dimple in the page. Um, you can kind of, oh, the ear is going to be, at, the ear is going to be at the halfway mark over there. So let's uh, just chuck that in, and then the jaw is going to start halfway in between this line here. So let's do there. Make sure this neck is the right size. We don't have a perfect circle. So my proportions are going to be off, and you kind of get the idea where well, you're consistently trying to measure every single thing that you do. Um, how are we are going to find the bottom of the ribcage? Well, it's two, two circles down, so pop, down. All right, let's find this bottom of the ribcage, where is it? Oh, it's really hard to hold it at this angle, but no excuses, right? Um, and then draw a line perpendicular to there, and then uh, just kind of pop out the back of his, the back of this human's back. Um, nice. Now you want to do the pelvis, you go over this exact same distance, and then put it down, and connect the lines. And make another 90 degrees, halfway through here, at the top of the pelvis, so it should be half, make good enough, and then, uh, yeah, okay, cool, good, whatever. That's my basic human. And then the legs is like, I don't really know of a strong presses to go over the legs, but I know it's like double, so whatever. I just, just draw some, some lines coming out there, and then the arm is like, whatever. And yeah, there you go, there's your mannequin. <laughs> and so that's how it is. It's like, a lot of the time in the class, um, the, the mannequin of just the head, torso, and pelvis are uh, super emphasized. And because of this, I'm not confident yet drawing the legs and arms. Um, what you could say is, what you could say is that there's too much in the human figure to learn in 10 weeks. And therefore, if I want to keep going, I just have to put in the time, which definitely is true. But nonetheless, I also do think it's super important to get the proportions right for the head, pelvis, and torso, because that is what makes humans human. I mean, I would definitely recommend the class previously before this 
I only knew how to think in 3D. And although I thought I knew how to draw in 2D, um, because in this class you actually measure everything, that really reinforced the 2D construction. That new way of thinking has applied to other parts of my drawing. So that's really good. So to just get that new way of thinking, I would definitely recommend the class. For. In terms of figures, um, I've heard common critiques of Kevin's students to be uh, stiff in their drawings. And I, I don't feel qualified to super talk about this, but, but at least the method works and there's a lot of new people in the class who can get a grasp at drawing something that looks like the figure and can start to and can start to construct the figure even without a reference and i think that is huge so yeah to wrap up um good class i actually wish i took this class so much earlier because it would have helped me with my drawing heaps it's not too uncommon for international students to come here on the 90 day visa and take the class because it's 10 weeks and counts as a recreational course. But yeah, I hope that helps future marks out there who are wondering about this class or school or something. And uh, I guess I'll see you in another video maybe. Okay, one more thing. Another thing that's really good about this class are the people that you will meet. And if you don't already have a bunch of art friends, going to CDA or an art school like this gives you that opportunity to make friends with like-minded people. And that is so... And I can't stress how important that is. So yeah, um, going to school and making friends is good. Another thing is to know about the class is that you'll be drawing a lot of mannequins um, and you might get a little bit bored of it, but you just keep drawing the mannequins and uh, yeah That's just the way it is. So that's just the FYI, but uh Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that helps someone in the world. Okay. I already said that but uh Hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world